happening now, emergency crews and volunteers continue to search for Joe Clyde Daniels, the missing five-year-old boy who is nonverbal and has autism spectrum disorder. News Channel 5's Jesse Knudsen joins us live from Dixon County. And Jesse, volunteers are going to be sent home when it gets dark, but first responders plan to stay. Yeah, they think it's unsafe for volunteers to be out here at night once it gets dark, but volunteers have pledged that they're going to stay out here and continue searching until Joe is found. As for the volunteers, they're just happy to be out here and help in any way they can. I mean, we have children, and if our child was missing, we'd want people to do the same thing. I'm a grandpa, and I, I just pictured my kids needing help or something like that. It's, you just never know, and when you hear all the people from all around coming here to help, I wasn't going to sit around and wait. Most of the search today was focused within one mile of Joe Clyde Daniels home. They searched in a grid pattern to try and make sure they checked all of the wooded areas, structures and anywhere else where Joe could be. They also searched from the air and using canines. The sheriff said they do believe Joe was last seen on a road near his home early Wednesday morning and they're hopeful that they can find him alive despite the cold temperatures he's had to live through. If they don't find him tonight, they're asking volunteers to come back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. to help continue searching. This is a, a, a kid. He could be anybody's kid. He could be my grandchild, you know, and, uh, and it's about being human and, and, and caring about the human race. Now, authorities are asking people with trail cameras to check their footage to see if they may have caught Joe in their footage. If so, it could give them a really helpful hint of the area that they should be searching in. As for first responders, they're just hoping that Joe will be found and be brought home to his family. Live in Dixon, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5.